there's an idea for cooling the planet. It's been around since the 1960s. And I think the time has come to take it seriously. But like other technologies from the 60s, it could use a little refresh. So scientists observe that when a really large volcano erupts, sulfuric acid particles fly all the way to the stratosphere. And those particles, like clouds, reflect back some of the sun's rays, cooling the planet. The effect lasts for a couple of years until eventually the particles fall back, back to Earth. We could do this too. We could fly sulfuric acid into the sky. It would be pretty affordable. It doesn't solve climate change, but it's temporary. It could save lives. And it could buy us the time we need to solve the bigger problem. So there are really valid scientific arguments for and against. And then there are emotional roadblocks that I think are really even more significant. And here's one of them. <laughs> the idea that people will accept flying sulfuric acid overhead, even if the amount is really tiny, just doesn't feel likely to me and to others. But what if we created a different particle? What if it had different properties? What if it was organic and biodegradable? Well, it turns out that in our public surveys, 90% of Americans said, if we do test this method, if the particle, it's very important that the particles be organic and biodegradable. It just feels safer to people. And that means creating a brand new material, literally from the ground up. And while we're at it, we could make it even better, possibly. So we could create a material that's even lighter weight, more reflective, and that means we'd need less of it, which would be a lot better. In the natural world, there are so many materials that we have to choose from. Think of them as building blocks that you can combine in different ways. For instance, um, seashells are highly iridescent, and spider webs, of course, float almost uh, without any help from the air. There's another material that has even more potential, I think, and that's worm spit. <laughs> worm spit, I'm so serious. So, well, silkworm spit, which um, in addition to making luxury fabrics, has so many other purposes. I'm working with a material scientist who's world-renowned. His name is Theo Amanetto. And in his lab here by at Tufts, he's created, using silk, some of the most extraordinary materials from packaging to um, biomedical devices. So this could turn out to be an even more challenging project for him, and we're really excited about it. It's still conceptual. We call it pixie dust. Invisible particles, organic and biodegradable, carried by the atmospheric winds around the planet. Pixie dust could reflect back some of the sun's rays, making all of us just a little cooler. So Tinkerbell, of course, needs help from people to believe in her, and so do we. So if you guys have any ideas for ways to help, we would love to hear from you. Thank you.